टूडे आई विल टॉक अबाउट काउटी फ्लो और काउट फ्लो देन आई विल डिराइव वेलोसिटी प्रोफाइल मैक्सिमम वेलोसिटी एंड लोकेशन ऑफ मैक्सिमम वेलोसिटी कॉन्सिडर ए लैमिनर इनकम्प्रेसिबल फ्रीड फ्लो बिटवीन टू इनफाइनली वाइड टू पैरल हॉरिजेंटल प्लेट एज सोन इन द फिगर विलो द अपर प्लेट इज मूविंग विथ वेलोसिटी यू एंड बॉटम प्लेट इज फिक्स सो दिस इज अपर प्लेट and this is bottom plate upper plate is moving with velocity capital u and bottom plate is fixed means velocity is zero and distance between two plate is h and coordinate actually start from here so here y is equal to zero and y is equal to h means uh, distance between two plate uh, bottom and upper that is h now first we have to write governing equation so continuity equation do u by do x plus dou b by dou y plus dou w by dou z so here we are taking cartesian coordinate and this is the continuity equation and then navier stokes equation so x momentum y momentum equation and z momentum equation so that is x momentum rho dou u by dou t plus u dou u by dou x plus v dou u by dou y plus w dou u by dou z is equal to minus dou p by dou x plus mu dou square u by dou x square plus dou square u by dou y square plus dou square u by dou z square plus rho g x similarly y and z next we have to take the assumption so here assumption is constant constant viscosity newtonian fluid steady flow means dou u by dou t is zero or dou v by dou t is actually zero and dou w by dou t is equal to zero means dou of something dou t of something is equal to zero incompressible flow mean uh, mean rho is constant so do rho of something do t is equal to 0 or do rho by do of x so that is 1 2 3 means do rho by do x do rho by do y do rho by do z is equal to 0 means incompressible flow rho constant now flow or variation properties in z direction and w is 0 means there is a no flow in z direction so w is 0 or do by do z of something is equal to 0 and no flow in y direction so v is equal to also 0 means no flow in x sorry z and y direction and velocity uh, at the wall is 0 means no slip condition is apply and no gravity effect so here no gravity is acting now from that so v is 0 that we can put as a zero uh, the w is zero so we can do that we can we can put that zero so we from here we can write that do u by do x is equal to zero because here this is a simply 1d flow so in uh, y direction velocity is zero and z direction velocity is zero so do u by do x is equal to zero now from that applying uh, assumption 3 4 and 5 navier stokes equation so here this is steady flow steady steady okay then uh, this is from continuity equation we got do u by do x is equal to 0 v is 0 v is 0 w is 0 okay and here do u by do x is equal to 0 so for, and here yeah that do u by do x is equal to 0 so that is 0 here uh, z direction there is a no flow and no gravity so that is 0 so we have this term and this term now uh, for uh, y direction momentum equation this term is zero steady steady so v is zero v is zero v is zero v is zero so all v is zero v is zero v is zero and there is no flow in z direction so here so here only dv by dy is equal to zero so there is no flow in z direction so everything is zero is also zero so now we have uh, from this first equation we have this term and this term so now we will have uh, so do u by do x is equal to 0 from continuity equation and we have this term so minus do p by do x plus mu do square u by do y square is equal to 0 and minus do p by do y is equal to 0 so that we have now We, we took the navier stokes equation so from navier stokes equation we got this now if we integrate we can we can write like that so 
dou square u by dou y square is equal to 1 by mu dou p by dou x. Now, if we integrate with respect to y, so we will get dou, y, dou u by dou y is equal to 1 by mu dou p by dou x y plus a is integration integrating integrating constant or integration constant. So, now we got uh, this dou u by dou y is equal to 1 by mu dou p by dou x y plus a. Again, if we do that uh, another integration with respect to y, so finally we will get u is equal to 1 by 2 mu dou p by dou x y square plus a y plus b. So, a and b actually are the constant. Now, we have to find out using boundary condition. So, here boundary condition. So, at y is equal to 0. Now, here at y is equal to 0 u is actually 0 no slip boundary condition and at y is equal to h so plate is moving so u will be capital u so that that is the boundary condition okay now we have to plug that so boundary condition at y is equal to 0 so velocity is 0 so from that uh, so this term is if we put uh, this uh, in uh, that y uh, at the velocity so that is 0 that is also 0 so b will be 0 so now uh, if we put y is equal to h so u is equal to so this term so from here a is u by h minus 1 by 2 mu dou p by dou x h now after getting a so we, we, uh, if we plug that in velo velocity so we will get uh, the velocity for file so u is equal to this so this is a and this is y square plus a y so here this is the velocity for file on the, sorry this is the velocity profile we plug this a a value now we got this profile and then if we reorganize so we will get something like that so u here velocity profile u is equal to u by h y minus of 2 p dou p by dou x y uh, h minus y or we can write that u by h y minus half 2 mu dou p by dou x and then y h 1 minus what y by h correct yes good so then if we want to find the location of the maximum velocity so then we have to take the derivative of that u and put as a zero so that will be the maximum minimum problem so maxima so du by dy is equal to 0 at max maxima uh, where y will be maxima y max so now here du by dy is equal to u by h minus 1 by 2 mu dp by dx h minus 2y is equal to 0 from here u by h is equal to this okay so from here we can easily calculate that y because uh, that du by dy will be 0 from here we can get that y max so y we will be y max so from here if we do the simplification so we'll get that y will be h by 2 minus mu u h to the dou p by dou x so that is the uh, maximum point where we can get the maximum velocity now velocity profile is already there now we have to calculate maximum velocity so maximum location that location uh, maximum location uh, the location at where that velocity is maximum so that is y max okay so location of maximum velocity so y max is equal to h by 2 minus mu u h dou p by dou x now velocity profile so this is the velocity profile now we have to plug that y max means uh, if we plug uh, that y is equal to y max so u will be u max it will be like that so now u max will be we plugging the y y max value so that u by h then this y max then minus 1 by 2 mu dou p by dou x h by 2 minus sorry yeah, dou p by dou x again this is the y y max and then h minus again y max now if i do the simplification so here from h minus h by 2 so that will be h by 2 so h minus h by 2 so this will be plus h by 2 by this now so if you see here this and this this is nothing but a minus b a plus b like that so that is s square minus this square 
so we got that s square minus b square now if i further simplify it okay so we'll get that u max is equal to that u by 2 uh, uh, this this term plus if you multiply okay so this term and this term okay same thing same is there okay now not same so you use mu square u square by h square and dou p by dou x whole square now if i simplify okay if i do again and again so we'll get u max is nothing but u by 2 minus h square uh, dou p dou x uh, 8 mu and minus mu u square 2 h square by dou, dou p by dou x so that is the actually maximum velocity so that maximum velocity i'll get now further simplification now here if we just take that t is equal to minus h square 2 mu u dou p by dou x so now um, we'll get this formula so u max will be u 1 plus 1 plus p whole square by 4 now if you do that p if you put that so we'll get same thing so if you have to do the back calculation from this back calculation if you go from here to here so you'll get that u max is nothing but u 1 plus p the whole square by 4p so it is very easy to remember but you have to remember p is equal to minus h square by 2 mu u dou p by dou x so that how uh, we got uh, that u max means maximum velocity uh, here then the location of maximum velocity and velocity profile that's it thank you